Welcome to the Living in York Region channel. Today I'm going to discuss something that's kind of a bit of a hot topic right now and that is uh, the COVID-19 and uh, the virus that's been spreading around the world and uh, certainly has a lot of people in fear. But if you're thinking of having an open house, maybe keep this in mind if you're a realtor and a homeowner. So let's talk about that and it's coming up in just one, two, three, roll it. Hey, this is Derek Hammett uh, with Coldwell Banker, the Real Estate Center. I'm a local realtor here in York Region and today we're going to talk about open house and some of the preventative measures you can take uh, to help stop the spread uh, and maybe calm any fears uh, during your open house of the spread of the coronavirus. So my personal opinion is right now I probably wouldn't host uh, an open house. Uh, right now the market's pretty hot anyway so anybody who's uh, looking for a home chances are they're going to work with their realtor and, and book an appointment anyway. Uh, but if you do feel the need to uh, have an open house and maybe uh, get some of the people that do drive by or maybe neighbors that might know somebody who want to check things out, here are some precautions you might want to keep in mind. One, you might want to request that all the visitors uh, wash their hands uh, before uh, coming in. Uh, if you have a powder room, uh, certainly make that available with soap and water uh, so that somebody can um, you know, give themselves a, a good 20 second wash at the minimum uh, of their hands before they go and start touring the home. Secondly, if you can, if you can find some in the marketplaces, have some uh, disinfectant wipes uh, around the home where people can certainly use that. Uh, if some people want to wear masks and you have them available, I guess that's always an option. Uh, but certainly the wipes, uh, make sure there's about 60% alcohol in those wipes, uh, otherwise pretty much they're virtually useless. Uh, even um, after the showings and after the open house, you probably want to go and wipe down all the door handles, uh, kitchen cabinet, count, um, door knobs, anything you think somebody may have touched if you're concerned about it. Uh, just a precaution. Uh, the third thing you might want to look at doing is, is restricting the, the groups that come. So rather than it being a free-for-all and everybody coming into the house at once, uh, maybe you do one, uh, maybe two groups at a time, especially if you've got a couple of different uh, realtors uh, working that open house. Uh, Certainly the, the, for realtors or if you happen to be holding the open house yourself is you know, refrain from the handshake. Um, you know, you'll see a lot of people doing the old uh, fist pump uh, or maybe the elbows, uh, whatever it might be. Uh, but you know what, for the time being, you know, I'm sure people will understand and nobody will be offended by it. Probably the most important, and this this is whether it's this time um, and and sort of the, the situation we're in with, with this virus, uh, but you should have everybody register um, at the open house in to the point where you might actually want to ask for ID so that people aren't giving a false name uh, and email or phone number uh, this is probably one of the more important and if they don't want to give it you know what they don't need to tour your house simple as that uh, but you know what let's say they do happen to get sick uh, maybe even later uh, but within a time period you, you would like to be able to know how to contact other people. So if somebody did, uh, did come through the tour and they were sick, then you have a record of all the people that were there that day and can absolutely reach out to them. So one, uh, as I said, make sure you have an ability for people to wash their hands, some soap and water available. Secondly, having uh, you know some of the wipes, the alcohol wipes on hand to wipe down things after people have done, certainly at the end of the, the home. Uh, the open house and finally uh, don't uh, you know refrain from shaking hands um, and try to keep a, a fair distance away from people I know two meters might not be easy at times but if you like this video and want to watch some of the other ones by all means please hit the uh, hit the subscribe button and add some comments down below if you think uh, you have something to add to to my comments or maybe some other measures you'd like to see.